Okay, we're getting ready to go here. This is Mark Trenchard along with Dick Boron and Emmett Lankus bringing you this contest. Between the 1 and 2 Midview Middies and the 0 and 3 Keystone Wildcats. Dick, uh, both teams without a whole lot of size here today. Uh, you might see a lot of running up and down the court tonight. Well, in a small court like this, I would expect that uh, they'll get the ball out off the rebound and go with it. Really, both teams with just one uh, one big man and, and uh, Brian Fairbend at 6-2. Uh, he gets the most out of that 6-2 body, but uh, by standards anymore, not a real tall young man. He'll be going against 6-5 Jeff Rubensaw. Ready to get underway. It's uh, pretty much a full house here at Keystone. Could get pretty loud here as we go along. We got another jump ball. No possession, I don't think, was ever really. That's made right. No possession, so you got to do it again. Controlled by Keystone. That's Bartlett up top being guarded by Fox. Gardner with the ball. Gets it down underneath and Trencher gets the ball. Brandon Grimm over to Aaron Fox. Over to Trenchard. Milner on the way. It's an unfair, been shot, doesn't go. I think Rubensaw got a hand on it. Halo over to Gardner, doesn't get it, rebound to Ilner. Brandon Grimm looks for Bourbon underneath. Aaron Fox for three. He's got it. Midview draws first blood. And we're not seeing uh, full court pressure here by, uh, by Midview early anyway. As Gardner with the ball driving to the lane. Guarded by Trenchard. Trenchard hurt his ankle. Shot's no good. Trenchard with the rebound. We're going to see Krushenko come in the game for Trenchard here early. Greg Trenchard with the shot. In and out. Rebound to Fox. He puts it up. Doesn't get it. Rebound Rubensaw. Adam Gardner doesn't get it. Rebound out of bounds. Midview's ball. Krushenko in for Trenchard. Now we're seeing Keystone uh, showing some uh, full court pressure here. Gonna need some help. Get it into Fox. Aaron takes it across, but he's fouled by number 21, Nick Geisler. Interesting to see if the refs call a close game here at the start. Well, I mean, was, both teams are small and quick. Pretty close foul there. Yeah. Aaron Fox drives to the foul line, puts it up and in. Aaron Fox. Aaron Fox with five quick ones for Midview. Midviews take the lead five to nothing. Now they look to trap. Keystone gets the ball to Rubensaw. On top to Bartlett, he drives the lane, puts it up, doesn't get it, gets his own rebound. Ball goes out of bounds. The uh, Keystone ball deflected by Midview. Almost stolen by Graham. Over to Gardner. Back over to Bartlett. 
This court's so small, Troy's practically standing on it, giving directions over like a six player. Cross court pass. There's a basket by number 25, Jason Mihailo. Keystone gets on the board. Just man-to-man um, -man full court pressure here, but not heavy pressure by Keystone. Box gets the ball across to Ilner. Over to Mike Krasenko. Deflected, but Aaron Fox controls it. Back to Ilner. Over to Brandon Graham. Brandon will take the three-pointer, and he hits it. by Brandon Grimm to knock the ball away. In the game now, number 22, Jeremy Dulewski. He comes in for Jeff Rubensaw. Eight to two, maybe on top with four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. That's Brett Bartlett, a 5'10 freshman, playing point guard here for, for Keystone. Out to Gardner, top of the key, fakes, shoots, doesn't go, rebound Farabin. Here comes Brandon Grimm pushing it up court. Nice job by Ryan Farabin keeping that alive. Over to Krushenko, but they pick him up quickly. They don't want to leave him open for the three. Adam Fox will take it from the corner, doesn't get it, rebound Ilner. He puts up the jump shot, doesn't get it. Got a foul underneath. It's against Keystone. The foul is on number 32, Brett Bartlett. It goes against Brett Bartlett. First foul on Bartlett, number two on Keystone. And now we're going to have Brian, Brian Meadows, 5'9", junior, coming in the game. Grimm gets it into Fox. Into Fairman, but he's held. Jason Mihailo got a chunk of Ryan's arm. Three fouls now on Keystone. Brandon Grimm takes the ball out. Gets it out to Ilner. Trying to get Brandon Grimm open in the corner, but Keystone covered that up well. They get it to Krushenko. Mike thought about shooting. Now takes it out to Fox. Nice try Ooh. there, but just couldn't get it into, into Farabin. Brett Bartlett controlling the ball up top. Gets it over to Meadows. Meadows to Geisler. Maybe with a good defense so far. Bartlett tries to drive, now flips it out top. Shot's no good. Rebound, Brandon Grimm steals it away. <clears throat> Gets it to Aaron Fox, Aaron drives the basket. Gets it back out to Krushenko, he's wide open. Doesn't get it. Rebound Keystone. That's Nick Geisler with the rebound. Three-point shot, I believe a three-pointer by Gluski. That was a three-pointer. We got the score 11 to two, but I think they gave that point to the wrong team. Aaron Fox puts it up and in. And Keystone wants a timeout. I think they need to get the score straightened out. Dick, it's 12 to 5, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct. It's 10 to 5. Keystone Wildcat, 30 second timeout. There, they've got it. 10 to 5 with 2.02 to go. Keystone timeout. 20 second timeout. We'll be back in action here shortly. 
Correction, it's a 30 second this year. 30 second. Thank you. Well, they're keeping a fast pace. This game will be over quickly if they keep like this up and down. Right. Yeah, there weren't a whole lot of stoppages there. Jeff Schaefer in the game now for Midview, along with uh, Greg Trenchard back in. Keystone's ball out of bounds. Maybe doing a man-to-man -man full court. Drew Elner now guarding Brett Bartlett. DJ Shaw in the game now for Midview, number four. Shaw fakes the shot, goes to the foul line with it, now goes to the basket, and he scores. Tried to move there by the freshman. Jeff Schaefer. Deflected by Bartlett and gets it out of bounds. He may use ball. Nice series there by Brett Bartlett. Nice drive to the basket and a good defensive play. Greg Trencher takes the ball out from Midview. Over to Fox. Shoots, can't get it. Rebound number 25, Jason Mihailo. Mihailo top of the key over to Bartlett. And we've got a foul. It's going to go against uh, number four, DJ Shaw, I believe, for uh, illegal block. Defense, number four, DJ Shaw, his first team for Brandon Grimm back in. Ryan O'Donnell coming in from Indy for the first time. And Ryan Farabend in. Ten seven, Midview with the lead. One oh nine to go here. Into Farabin, open underneath the basket, and he scores. Good luck by uh, Drew Elner there. That's Ryan's first basket this evening. There's Bartlett again. He's fouled on the way to the basket. Drew Elner, his first foul. Midview's first team foul. Got 48 seconds left in the first quarter. Midview up 12-7. Aaron Fox back in for Midview now. Adam Gardner back in. They hit the back of the backboard. We Midview ball. Ryan O'Donnell will take the ball out for Midview. Keystone with a definite disadvantage. Basically an all-guard team out there right now. Fox for three. Got it. He's got it. And Keystone wants a timeout. Aaron Fox continues the, the hot shooting that he showed against Cloverleaf last Saturday. Maybe he opens up an eight-point lead now, 15 to 7, 30, just under 39 seconds to go in the first quarter. Aaron's got Midview, 10 of Midview's 15 points here already. He's got two threes. <laughs> Coach Greg Morgan calling two pretty quick timeouts here in this quarter, trying to assure that this game doesn't get uh, out of hand early. Really leaving Midview open for some some wide open looks at the basket. Keystone, a very young team with only two seniors on the squad. Shots no good. Rebound Mihailo. He puts it up. Doesn't get it. Rebound Farabin. He gets it out to Brandon Graham. Coach DeFranco calling for one shot here with 15 seconds left in the quarter. Down to eight. Fox will 
will take it. He'll hit it. Aaron Fox. And that's going to end the first period. Aaron Fox on fire here. Score at the end of the first quarter. At Keystone High School, it's 17 to 7 at the end of the first quarter, Midview on top. Midview did a nice job moving the ball around that quarter, I thought, Brett. Yeah, they did a real nice job. Relatively few uh, turnovers. I think Brandon Grimm's starting to feel a little more comfortable leading the, uh, leading the offense. Well, that's definitely what you need with a team that uh, you don't have a lot of uh, varsity experience that you need somebody to step forward and uh, take control bringing the ball up the court. Somebody that the coach can look to to handle that chore. We've got O'Donnell, Farabin, Trenchard, Fox, and Grimm for Midview here to start the second quarter. I think it'll be Midview's ball out of bounds here on this near side. Keystone's got uh, Gardner and Shaw, Dulewski, Mihailo, and Bartlett. Brandon Grimm takes the ball out for Midview. That's Aaron Fox with the ball. Gets it out to Brandon Grimm. Into Trenchard, into O'Donnell. Trenchard with the shot, and he hits it. It's DJ Shaw with the ball. Almost stolen by Aaron Fox. Bartlett has nowhere to go. Up top for the three-pointer. Doesn't go. Blue ball. That's off of DJ Shaw. Keystone pressure and the ball all over the court, but nothing real hard, no double teaming. So far, anyway. Aaron Fox out on the wing. Over to Trenchard. Back to Fox. Aaron drives the basket, gets it over to Brandon Grimm. He'll take the three-pointer. Doesn't get it. Into Fairbend underneath. He's fouled and it goes. And Brandon Grimm's going to take a break. Mike Krashenko back in for Midview. Jeff Rubensall back in for Keystone along with number 21, Nick Geisler. Geisler and Rubensall Ryan Fairbanks shooting one. That's four team fouls on the Wildcats. Ryan has really come on strong early in this season, I think, Dick, for, for being a sophomore and a lot of times a little bit undersized against his man, too. Really does a nice job with the, with the strength. And I think we're going to pick up a foul here by uh, Adam or Aaron Fox. Jeff Rubensall take the ball out of bounds to D.J. Shaw. Greg Trenchard on Shaw. That's Adam Gardner. Back to Rubensall. He'll take the shot. Doesn't get it. Rebound to Fox. There goes Aaron Fox. He's going to go all the way with it. And he scores. Aaron Fox showing his speed there. Maybe he goes out to a 24-7 lead with six minutes left in the second quarter. Adam Gardner drives to the hole and puts it in. The ball to Farabin and he scores. Nobody there to pick him up. 26-9, Midview on top. 5.50 to go. 
Nice drive there by Ryan Farabin. Yeah, Adam Gardner with the shot again. Doesn't get it. Rebound. Here we back. go, up and down, up and down. <laughs> Got to get it to a guard here. Both guards took off down the court. Good steal there by uh, Mihailo. Well on Ryan O'Donnell. Sean Vandell going to come into the game for Midview for the first time. And Brandon Grimm in. If you man to man on the people out front in the inbounds play. And Shaw back into the corner. Doesn't get it. Rebound, Ryan Farabin. Oh, what are we going to call? It's a foul on Geisler. 16 fouls now for Keystone. Maybe you'll be in a, a one and one here the rest of the quarter. Nice, nice back ball. door. Beautiful play. Aaron Fox with the basket. That's about 100 points, I think, for Aaron. <laughs> and Bartlett's left alone and splits up the three-pointer. Nobody picked him up there. And we got a foul, a hand foul there on the... It's going to go against Bartlett, I believe. Well, what happened? I'm not sure. Uh, he's telling him to tuck his shirt in. He's oh. making him go out. So there was no foul. Yeah, I guess That's the new rule. They're going to make them sit down if they don't uh, t keep their shirts tucked in. I'll be darned. It's the first time I've seen it. Hilner doesn't get it. Rebound to Bartlett. Here comes Keystone. Ruben saw with it at the top of the key. Over to Gardner. Midview's ball out of bounds. Sean Bandell taking the ball out. Brandon Grimm controlling the ball over to Trenchard. He gets it into Farabin. Takes a shot. Doesn't go, but he's fouled. Got a hold of his arm. Farabin will go to the line. We've got 3.56 to go here in the second period with Midview up 28 to 12. That's three fouls on Nick Geisler. One and one for Ryan. That goes. Brian Meadows comes back in for Keystone and Nick Geisler sits down with three fouls. Just under four minutes. We got 29 to 12. Midview looking to push out that lead before half. Two good shots. Ryan's three for three from the line. Pick up, but Bartlett drives through it. Good recovery there by Midview to get back in their in their defense. Adam Gardner in the corner thought about shooting, but holds up. Ruben saw the foul line. That's Bartlett. Did you in the zone? Yeah. 
They get it into Rubensaw. He takes a shot, but it's blocked. Brian Grimm with the ball. Brandon Grimm, I mean, Drew Elner from way out for the three, and he's got it. That was his first basket this evening. Maybe you're now in the man to man. Rubensaw takes a shot, doesn't get it. Goes out of bounds. Maybe you ball. Well, you can really tell Keystone's hurting. You know, if anybody big inside to really go to that. Oh, definitely. Drew Elner with the ball. Gets it over to Trenchard. To Grimm for three. Doesn't get it. Rebound out to Steve Rona, who's now in the game for the first time. Drew Elner on him. Rona takes a shot. Short. Rebound by Farabin. Trenchard for three. Doesn't get it. Rebound. No. Farabin. Yes. Ryan's got 11 this half. Rebound Bandell. All the way to Elder. He puts it up and scores. Well, with 1.54 to go here in the first half, uh, Midview is now up 37 to 12, Dick. I really didn't expect to see this happen. Let me uh, go quickly over the JV, uh, wrap up the uh, scoring for them. Uh, Matt Blazek had one point, Jeff Bales had three, Seth Gunter had four, Mike Worley had five, Trent Hughes had two, Joel Mostad, uh co-leader with 10 points, Joe Yurkovitz had four, Dan McAvina had two, David DeFranco had nine, and Marty Sestarsik was the other co-high scorer with 10. Midview uh, made one three-pointer, and they were seven for 17 at the foul line for 41%. JV's played a nice game, Dick, it's, uh, and as they did uh, Saturday night against Cloverleaf, but two good games back to back. And I, I tell you what, we started off the season against the Leary Catholic and against Brunswick, two tough opponents, and I think as we get through the year, we're going to look back and say those games probably helped us out, both on the JV and the varsity level, in that we, re we, we saw what tough competition is all about, and it, I think it uh, tends to toughen us up a little bit. Hey, I would totally agree with that, and I'm sure it'll help us too now that we're in the conference play or whatever. Jeff Schaefer in the game uh, now for Midview, number 32. Jeff Rubensaw with the ball. Gets it to Rona. To Gardner. From the side, puts it up, doesn't get it. Brandon Grimm with the rebound. Gets it over to Aaron Fox. Vandell from the foul line, puts it up, and it's in. Sean gets on the books for his first basket. Again, the Keystone team very young. Just, just two seniors on the squad. It's Drew Elner with the rebound. To Graham with the foul line, over to Elner, nice passing. Nice passing, doesn't get it, but nice unselfish play there by, uh, by a couple guys. Adam Gardner with 35 seconds to go in the first half. To Rubensal over to Rona. Stolen by Fox. He's going to have a wide open layout. Got it. 41 to 12. Down to 18 seconds. Aaron has 18 points this half. It's Adam Gardner. He hits it for three. Down to four seconds. Got it off, but too late. 
And that's the end of the first half here at Keystone with the score, Midview 41 and Keystone 15. We will be back after the intermission. Here we are back at the Keystone High School gym for the second half of the Midview Keystone game. This is Mark Trenchard along with Dick Boron and Emmett Lankus bringing you the game between Midview and Keystone. Dick, uh, first half scoring, you have some numbers for us? Yeah, well the bulk of the load went with uh, Aaron Fox and Ryan Fairbin. Uh, Aaron had 18 and Ryan had 11. Uh, we also had Greg Trenchard had a basket, uh, Brandon Grimm hit a three, and Drew Ilner had a three and a two for five points. And that was it. So you got anything on the Keystone side? Keystone, Adam Gardner had five, Jeremy Deluski had three, uh, Jason Mihailo had two, Brett Bartlett had five. For Keystone only had 15 points the first half. It's 41 to 15. And as we start the second half here, it'll be Keystone ball out on the near side here. For Midview, Grimm, Fox, Farabin, Trenchard, and Ilner. Those are the five that started the game. And that's Brett Bartlett, number 32, with the ball for Keystone, guarded by Aaron Fox. Over to Adam Gardner. Ruben Salda Mihailo. Again, Bartlett. Good defense by Midview. It's Adam Gardner with that rebound. Over to Rubensal to let him take the shot if he wants it. There's another steal by Adam Fo Aaron Fox. Nice pass. Oh, beautiful <laughs> shot by Ryan Farabin. It was a nice pass, but a tough one for Ryan to handle. And he, pulled he showed it his step. athletic ability there, pulling that up. He's a heck of an athlete, I'll tell you. Adam Gardner with the ball. Wide open is Rubensal. And we're going to get a jump ball. Tied up by Ryan It'll Farabin. be Midview's ball. Keystone just picking the picking the guys up at uh, three quarter court. Hilner with the shot doesn't get it. Rebound to number 22. That's Jeremy Deluski. Brett Bartlett up top, the freshman. Ruben saw with the shot, doesn't get it. Ryan Fairbend gets a big arm on it. And here comes Brandon Grimm, looking down court. But stolen away by Bartlett, good anticipation there. And he scores. Nice job by Brett Bartlett. That's seven for Brett. He leads Keystone in scoring so far. And again, he's a freshman. Trenchard to Grimm. Grimm takes a shot, and he cans it. Two-pointer, foot on the line. Could be really doing a nice job of, of passing the ball around up top. Not forcing anything and, and getting an open shot. A bit surprised Keystone hasn't uh, played a zone or whatever, just to move it, change things up a little bit, maybe right. throw Midview's rhythm off. Right. At, at least try it, you know. I can, I can understand they don't, that, that opens up a lot of shots up top, but there's a foul on Ryan Farabin. Jeff Rubensaw will get two shots. I remember seeing Jeff Rubensaw play when, back several years ago when he was a, I think the last time I saw him was when he was a freshman, and he is, uh, 
really slimmed down. He was a quarterback on the football team, if I'm not mistaken, Dick. That was back when he was a freshman? Yeah, when he was a freshman, I'll bet he weighed more than he does right now. Oh, wow. Well, the thing that I've noticed is, you know, he's the biggest man on the floor for Keystone, and you got him running around the three-point line instead right. of right. posting up inside. I don't know why, but if, if I'm not mistaken, he did not play for a couple years. He hasn't played for, for a couple years. Second foul shot's good. And we got DJ Shaw coming in the game. And he will replace Jeff Rubensall. So now Keystone's really got a small lineup in. Now we might see some uh, see him turn up the defensive pressure a little bit here. Just passive pressure as Brandon Grimm will dribble the ball across the timeline. Over to Aaron Fox. Trencher's got it to Fox. Into Fairbend, and he doesn't get it. Rebound and a foul. The rebound went to uh, Jeremy Deluski and a foul on uh, Mike Krushenko. First foul on Krushenko and foul number two for Midview. And we got Ryan O'Donnell coming in. And Krushenko comes out. I think Midview, uh, Coach DeFranco, is looking to take advantage of the small size. He's got two big guys in there now. Yeah, I think so. Good point, Dick. We will have a tremendous edge on him uh, underneath right now. As Adam Gardner doesn't get it. Rebound it. Ryan Farabin. Aaron Fox to O'Donnell. Back to Fox. Back to O'Donnell, over to Trenchard, into Fairman, and we've got a foul. We're going to see something underneath the basket here on this uh, out of bounds play. Nope, we're not. Brandon Grimm from just beyond the foul line, he cans it. Brandon really finding his stroke now after kind of a slow start to the year. 47-18 Midview. Four minutes left in the third quarter. <laughs> DJ Shaw with the shot. Doesn't get it. Midview kind of passive on that on the boards that time. Not that time. Greg Trenchard, short. Ryan O'Donnell ties him up. The keystone ball and the jump ball. And we're going to see David DeFranco in the game now for the first time. Ryan Farabin comes out. People giving him a hand and he should. He should get a big hand. He's uh, really played a fine game. It should be hard to find somebody from Midview who hasn't played a fine game up to now, Dick. Ryan sits down with 13 points. This is DJ Shaw <laughs> blocked by David DeFranco. That's asking David a lot to guard Brandon him. Grimm from the foul line. Doesn't get it. We got a foul on Ryan O'Donnell. Or no, on David DeFranco, pardon me. <laughs> Using that big body a little bit too much. And Mike Krushenko comes back in. Greg Trencher goes out. J Jason Mihailo taking the ball out, gets it out to Bartlett. And Bartlett will take it up the court. Aaron Fox on him. Gets it down the corner to Mihailo, back out to Bartlett. David DeFranco guarding DJ Shaw at the top of the key. <laughs> you see the difference there. <laughs> We've got some blocking foul. We've got a 
Blocking foul ahead of the shot. The shot will not count. 47-18 now is the score with 2.33 to go. And Matt Schmidt coming in the game for Midview for the first time. Aaron Fox goes out. We'll probably start seeing a lot more guys uh, coming in the game here, Dick, as we move along that haven't played a whole lot. Yeah. Midview in a 2-3 zone right now. They leave that shot open, and he hits it. That's Brett Bartlett. He jumped in that zone and left that corner open. And Bartlett canned it. That's his second three of the night, and he's David got DeFranco. 10 total. Gets it back out to Brandon Grimm. Good job by David there. Instead of pressing that, he got it back out top of the guard. DeFranco with the basket. That's what Coach DeFranco is looking for right now out of our uh, offense is to work that ball underneath the O'Donnell and DeFranco. Fall out top by Matt Schmidt. Keystone ball out of bounds, 157 showing on the clock in the third period. That's Bartlett over to Shaw. Slapped away by Schmidt, but controlled by, by Shaw. Gardner with the drive, dishes it back off. Doesn't go. Brandon Grimm, good, good uh, position under the boards by Brandon. To Krushenko. Back to Grimm. To Schmidt. He'll take the shot. Doesn't get it. Rebound and a foul. Foul's going to go against DJ Shaw. That'll be his second, team second. And we're going to have Ryan Wolf in the game for, for Midview for the first time. He'll be replacing Ryan O'Donnell. And he gave the signal to Brandon to toss it to him underneath the basket. I think we're going to see a little bit of a tip play here. There it is. Got it. I believe that's Ryan's first basket, isn't it? Is that the first time he scored this year? I didn't think so, but it might be, Dick. I thought he had uh, had some points earlier, but might be wrong. Way out. Bartlett doesn't get it. Rebound to Franco. Mike Krushenko doesn't get it. White ball. You got one minute left in the third quarter. Mid you up by 30, 51 to 21. Jim Pruder coming in for Brandon Grimm. Brandon did a really nice job tonight. Brandon sits down with seven points. That's Adam Gardner. He'll take a shot. Doesn't get it. Rebound to Franco. And ball's kicked by Nick Geisler. It'll be midview ball. 44 seconds to go here. <laughs> David almost fell on his face. <laughs> he got we would have felt that, I think. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Jimmy Pruder with the ball. Gets it to DeFranco. Back out to Pruder. That's Mike Krushenko. Down to 14 seconds. Jimmy Pruder, he's Nice scored. move. Jimmy's in the books with two. Long shot by, oh, it's tipped up and in. I think that's going to go to Adam Gardner. I was going to say, who made that? That ends the third quarter with the score Midview 53 and Keystone 23. 30 point cushion dick ought to be a good time to get everybody a lot of playing time right now. Yeah, I would agree with that. Just to let you know, Keystone's been kind of consistent on their scoring by quarters. They have seven, eight, and eight each quarter. Midview scored 12 that quarter. So we should see a lot of uh, 
I'm sure we'll see a lot of Jeff Schaefer and Sean Bandell, Matt Schmidt, Jimmy Pruder, Ryan Wolf. Drew Ilner over there with his shoe off again, Dick. Uh, last Saturday he didn't play the second uh, second half. He injured his foot, and I don't. He's got his shoe off over there. I must still be having a problem with it. I never did hear <laughs> what exactly was the. What, yeah, it what looks the like he's got was. something ice on his toes or whatever. Keystone with the ball here to start. We got some interesting matchups out there now, folks. There's Adam Gardner driving. Scores. Adam's the son of uh, Matt Gardner, who's proprietor of Indian Hollow Golf Course. Matt Schmidt with the ball. Throws it away. To Adam Gardner. He scores. 53-27, mid-view up top. Adam's got 11 now. Uh, we've got a foul on the shot. Two Keystone players down. Gardner and Delusky both hit the hit the ground, and Matt Schmidt will be at the line to shoot two. Matt put his uh, head down like he was running over center there. <laughs> Flashback to football. That was Adams' first foul, team's third for Keystone. Two shots coming for Matt Schmidt. We haven't shot a lot of foul shots tonight. Midview, this will be our fifth shot, and Keystone's only shot two times at the free throw line. There's a basket for Matt Schmidt. Aaron Fox comes back in, and Schmidt goes out. Franco and Bandell underneath from Midview now with uh, Fox Krushenko and Brandon Grimm. Shot of Gardner. Gardner takes a shot and he drills it. Three pointer. He's hot. That's 14. Fox doesn't get it. Good job on the rebound, though, to David DeFranco. Aaron Fox didn't get the rebound, but he fouled a shot and tipped it over to DeFranco. Nice job. Good hands by Brandon Grimm there. To and now we're getting a little sloppy with it. Set it up, Brandon. Attaboy. <laughs> nice coaching, Mark. Thank you. It's good listening. <laughs> Mike Krishenko finally finds the range on yeah, his three-pointer. It's Mike's first basket today. 59-30 with 5.45 left in the game. DJ Shaw. There's Gardner. Oh, hits the top of the backboard. Be midview ball. Jeff Schaefer coming in the game now for midview and uh, comes in for Dave DeFranco. Nice to get the ball underneath. Sean Bandell's being guarded by a much smaller man. We should be able to find him under there. <laughs> Traveling called the ball go over to Keystone. 
505 to go. Seat's getting a little hard. <laughs> That's Shaw at the top of the key. Nice shot there by Jeremy Delusky for two. Aaron Fox. There's a give and go, nice job. Fox scores. That's twice that's worked to perfection tonight. Aaron's got 20 tonight. And he's going to pick up his third foul. Jimmy Pruder coming in now, and Aaron Fox is going to go out. Bartlett takes the ball out, gets it over to uh, Brian Meadows. Brett Bartlett with the shot off the back of the iron. Skrushenko into Bandel. Oh, right idea. Basket by Delusky. 61-34 now. 3.42 to go. Jeff Schaefer. Count it. We're going to count it. Nice job by Sean Bandel. DJ Shaw picks up the foul, his third foul. And Sean Bandel will go to the line. Matt Schmidt in the game, Brandon Grimm out. That's Jeremy's second foul, team fifth. Jimmy Pruder with the ball. And we've got a foul, another foul. This one I think is gonna go against Brian Meadows. And that will be team foul number six. Fouls on number 23, Brian Meadows, his first team six. Both teams now with six team fouls, and both teams will be in the one and one. Vandell. Doesn't get it. Rebound to Keystone. Rona from way out. Doesn't get it. Rebound to Gardner. Bartlett with the drive, but he's fouled by Pruder, and that'll be a one and one. That's Jimmy's first foul. Up and in by Brett Bartlett. Good looking freshman ball player. Maybe he's going to run out of time here. Yeah. 
There's Matt Schmidt. He's fouled. One and one now for Matt Schmidt, I believe. Yep, we're shooting bonus the rest of the way out. Rebound, band down, he puts it up and in. Sean Mm. That was on Ben Dallas. Brian Meadows tried to drive to the basket. And Brian Meadows will be shooting one and one. Fouls on number 33, Sean Mandel, his first team game. For 23, Brian Meadows at the line shooting one and one. The Frank on the pole returns to the Got a foul on the play on David DeFranco now. We might see a lot of foul shooting here yeah. from here on in. I am afraid so. Steve Rowan at the line for Keystone. First shot's up and in. And the second one goes. Keystone's got 15 points this quarter. That's where you don't want the ball down there. Ryan Wolf with the ball, over to Pruder. Into DeFranco. Out of bounds to Keystone. In the game is Ryan Ganegi and Adam Gardner sits down. Adam played a heck of a game. Adam sits down with 14 points. Dick, anytime you want to get the uh, midview scoring, the guys that are on the bench now all right. Start working that in. That's Kanegi. Doesn't get it. Rebound 22. Jeremy Delusky, and he's hurt. He came down hard on his arm, I'm afraid. Okay, for Midview, uh, Drew Ilner had five points. Brandon Grimm had seven. Greg Trenchard had two. Matt, let's see here. Mike Krushenko had three. Sean Bandell had six. Aaron Fox led all scores with 20. And Ryan Fearbin had 13. David DeFranco with the ball. Uh-oh. Getting ugly. I think we're going to have a foul on Keystone. David DeFranco heads to the line. And he'll be shooting uh, one and one. one. Been seeing quite a few freshmen uh, in the first few games of the year playing varsity. Keystone has two, Dick, and uh, David DeFranco picking up some varsity time here for Midview. Larry Catholic had a 
a freshman on their varsity that 